Welcome to BuildBox 3.1. In this video, we will go over one of the main workspaces of BuildBox, the mind map. When you open a project or create a new project, you are greeted with this screen here, which is the mind map. The mind map allows you to organize the flow of your game and uses visual connections between nodes that represent your loading screen, UI screens, and your worlds. Your game will be determined by how these nodes connect to one another. Now, there are a few ways you can move around and navigate in the mind map. To move around the map, hold down your spacebar until the mouse turns into a little white glove, then left click and drag in any direction with your mouse. You can also use the middle mouse click and repeat the same dragging motion to move your view around as well. To zoom your view in, simply scroll up with your mouse wheel and scroll down to zoom out. You can also press Ctrl plus or minus for Windows or Command plus or minus for Mac to zoom your view in and out on your keyboard as well. To select a node, simply left click it. Once you do, you will see several different options appear on the right hand side in the options panel. These options will allow you to edit and change certain aspects of the selected node. For example, to change the name of your node, find the text field next to name, double click the text, then type a new name. In this example, we want to rename this world node to level 1. Once you are finished, click anywhere on the grid. To move a node across the grid, click and drag the node around the map, then drop it where you would like it to be placed. If you want to create a duplicate of a node, use W, A, S, or D. W will create a duplicate above the original, A will duplicate left, D to the right, and S will duplicate below the original. To deselect a node, just click anywhere on the grid. And of course, if you want to undo, simply press Command or Control Z. Next, let's take a look at how each node is connected. Each node has its own series of inputs and outputs. The inputs are on the left, while the outputs are on the right. So if we look at the connection line between the Start UI node and the Level 1 node, this tells us that when the output of the Start UI has been activated, it will then activate the load input of the 3D world, moving the game from the start UI to the 3D world. If you'd like to disconnect the connection between two nodes, hover your mouse over the connection line until it emits an orange color, then simply click and drag it away. To reconnect these nodes, all you have to do is drag out a connection line from the start button output, then drop it into the load input of level one. Let's now navigate to the node panel, which is on the far left hand side. The node panel allows you to add new nodes to your project, such as new 3D worlds and UI screens. As you can see here, there are two categories, design and logic, and you can click on the arrow next to each category to collapse and expand them. Design nodes add more content to a game, such as worlds and UI. Logic nodes allow you to change the flow of your game in case you want to add randomization or make it a little less linear. There are two ways you can add a node to the mind map. One is by dragging the selected node from the node panel to the grid, Another is to simply right click and choose an option from the menu that appears. To delete a node, simply select the node and press delete on your keyboard. Let's now dive into each of the different types of nodes, starting with the start node. To open and edit a node from the mind map, simply double click to open the nodes editor. In this example, we have just opened the UI editor of the start node. The start node on the mind map is the root node of your game. It is a special UI node that acts as a loading screen when players open your game. You can showcase your logo here while the game is loading, as well as display images and other backgrounds as well. When you are ready to go back to the mind map, simply click the mind map tab in the navigation bar. Next, let's click into our world node. A world node is a 3D or 2D environment that collectively represents a single level in your game. A 3D world node has a load input which can connect to the output of either a UI node or the start node. It also has a UI output which you must connect to the input of a UI node as you can see here. This will display a UI screen on top of your 3D world. Now let's click into our UI screen node. UI nodes allow you to create user interfaces for menus or in-game overlays. Here you can add buttons, text labels, and images to your game as well as display information such as points and progress. Last but not least, we have our random node. This logic node will not display anything on the screen. Instead, it is used to move the game from one node to one of three different possible nodes that are chosen completely at random. That concludes this workspace overview of the mind map. In our other workspace overviews, we will take a deeper dive into each of these nodes and their options. Thank you for following along and we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Keep an eye out for more tutorials at billbox.com.